If Oprah and I had a love child, it could very well be our next guest. But none of us, none of us could have predicted or guessed at the laser beam trajectory of her career. You cannot deny this immense talent in this little, little body. Now, a lot of you know, uh, and she was on the show last time, I have a long history with Celine Dion. Finding someone to do justice to those songs is almost impossible until we found this dynamo from the Philippines. Now, this first song that she's gonna do is a song that I actually wrote with my friend Edgar Bronfman Jr. Now, for those of you who don't know, at the time, Edgar Bronfman Jr. owned Universal Pictures. And it was so surreal to be sitting in the studio working with Celine, and Edgar Bronfman is sitting there working on lyrics at two o'clock in the morning. I said, don't you have like this huge like thing you're running? But he loves to write songs. So here she is with Edgar's and my song that we wrote for Celine. The new star of Glee, you saw her here first, Sharice! She won't 
grown up now. Wow. It's just wonderful to see what's been happening with you. And, and now with Glee, it's just, it's endless. I produced a song for Celine a few years ago that I, I really am proud of this song, the way it, it turned out and, and the way we, we kind of changed it around. It was the only time that I recall that Celine actually got really, uh, well, she may have got annoyed with me a lot, but she really got annoyed with me because there's a particularly high note in this song, which is ridiculously high. She sang it perfect the first time. I made her do it seven more times. Why? I don't know. But then, of course, I told her not to sing the Titanic song, so what do I know? Uh, anyway, should we give it a try?
Wow.